Hello everyone, welcome to a day in the life here in Florida. It is a glorious day and I am heading to Universal Orlando Resort on my own to experience the new show in DreamWorks Land and to also just have a walk around, enjoy. Does this make you feel right at home? This is one of the most iconic areas of the whole of City Walk for me. First things first, you and I are gonna go to the Epic Universe Preview Center as I really wanna get one of the headbands. We made it. This is such an amazing way for guests to get up close and personal with the new park coming to Universal Orlando Resort in 2025. And you don't have to be a guest at the parks to go to this. On the right as you walk in, we have How to Train Your Dragon, Isle of Burke. This is my most anticipated area of Epic Universe. I cannot wait. I'm such a big How to Train Your Dragon fan. It's so hard to resist all this merch. It's so cute. And also look at the toothless popcorn bucket. It's $34.99 before tax and the first fill of popcorn is free. I don't know whether you've seen these on social media but these are the snowy owls and they sit on your shoulder and they are an animatronic so the head spins. It's so cute. Okay this is what we are here for today. I'm gonna get one of these headbands. I'm not sure which one to get. I am wearing a princess peach outfit. You can probably see in there. I think I'm gonna get one of the boo headbands because it goes really well with my outfit as it's white and it'll go with plenty of other outfits. I do also love the mushrooms as well. They even have full on hats as well, but I feel like it'd be way too warm here in Florida. All of these headbands are gonna be $25 plus tax. It's so exciting to think this is gonna be real. Look at the jewel coaster over at Celestial Park. I did get an annual pass discount because I upgraded to the preferred pass because every time you park at Universal, you have to pay for parking unless you have the preferred pass or above. So I recently upgraded and the headband cost me $23.96. Yay, I'm so excited. I feel extra ready for Epic Universe now. We're in and where are we going first? We're heading into the Universal Studios store slash the Sweets Bakery because I'm gonna get a gluten-free David's cookie. They are the best. Oh my goodness, look at all of these. Wow, which one would you get? Look at the size of that plain crispy. Wowzer. Okay, so I'm gonna get one of these. Here we have it, the David's gluten-free chocolate chip cookie with pet holder discount. This cost me $2.40. It's probably one of the cheapest snacks in the whole park and it is so good. Look who I just found. It's it Optimus I, Prime. Optimus Prime. So I just met Optimus Prime. I will put a picture here so you can see. It was so cool. I highly encourage you, even if you're visiting the parks on your own, never be afraid to meet the characters. I know it can seem very overwhelming. However, you can simply ask them about that day. You can be like, hi, nice to see you. Could I get a picture with you? It doesn't have to be a big, long-winded conversation if you're not comfortable with it. But I love meeting characters. If you have any questions on tips on how to meet characters, let me know. There's a new Imagination Cafe here just before you head into DreamWorks land. It's next to the SpongeBob SquarePants shop and they have a menu right here. We are here, let's go in. My husband and I had an amazing time coming in here when there were basically no other guests during the Orlando Informer meetup. That was back in June. Currently, Shrek, Fiona and Donkey are not meeting right now, so this will be the perfect time to get some pictures in front of Shrek Swamp. Over to the right, we have the Shrek Swamp play area for little ogres. It's so cute. And can you see Pinocchio up there? He lies and his nose grows, which is such a great detail. I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to burn up from the sun, so we're gonna head over to the show. This area is so cool. This is a Trolls playground, and there's a playground right there. And then I love the theming over here. All of the clouds, the DreamWork clouds, have characters engraved into them. It's so cool. And over here on the right, we have Hiccup and Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. So hyped to finally see this. The music survived. I got here about 15 minutes before the 5 p.m. show and I've got a great view. What is happening? You 
talk to Master Uwe about your destiny. Both sides of the yin and yang. And my true successor. I believe the Staff of Wisdom belongs to you. I can't believe Master Uwe that? is in the show. You, that is so you're cool. You're enlightened in everything, Master Uwe. Oh, just be true to yourself. which immediately made us suspicious of a nefarious activity within the area. <laughs> you believed in me. It's because you believed in yourself. I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric, baby, when I turn it on. Oh my gosh, it's cold. I might say this one. Wow, jacket, that's amazing. Here on my head, the top. Look at it. <laughs> Do you guys see anything in the clouds? King Julian. Oh, King Julian. I there see me. me. <laughs> it's on me. Oh, what is going on? We're on our feet, right in the party. Woo! It's a DreamWorks race. <laughs> this is iconic. Here we are, I got my gluten-free crispy burger and I got a little bit of a discount, so that was good. And on here comes some secret sauce and some cheese sauce as well. And it's a great burger, I love it. Just eating my crusty burger, it was amazing as always. The sky is still pretty dark right now. Just thought I'd show you this, Abby. I've never, ever, ever noticed this before. It's so funny how you can come to the parks a million times and miss things. This is a little seating area and it's right behind Lord Lad Donuts. Also, I think I just found a Swifty Easter egg by accident. So this is a Simpson statue, which has been here for years. Look at the pigeon on top of his head. However, around the back, there is a quote in reference to The Simpsons and it also reminds me of The Smallest Man Who Ever Lived by Taylor Swift. If you're a Swifty, let me know because I watch glitchy live streams at the Eras Tour all the time, so please let me know. RIP the Back to the Future ride. I never got to ride it. I never experienced it, which is such a shame because Back to the Future is my favorite trilogy, apart from How to Train Your Dragon. It looks like the Dementors are coming. Right now, Men in Black is a 15 minute wait. Gringotts is 30, Fast and Furious is closed, what a shame. Rip Ride Rocket is closed at the moment due to the inclement weather. Transformers is 20 minutes. Let's go have a wander around. We're now near King's Cross Station and Diagon Alley. I love the fact that they have this very British menu up here of a jacket potato with beans and cheese. We're muggles right now, but when we go through here, we will be wizards. Wow, so look at that, it gets me every time, it's so cool. This is a controversial opinion, however, I actually love the hot butter beer and I highly recommend it if you've never tried it. Diagon Alley isn't too busy right now. I think the weather has put people off a little bit. Let's have a look inside. Okay, these are really cool. I've never seen these t-shirts before. Visit Enchanting Hogsmeade. Then over here, explore mystical Diagon Alley. I love these posters as well. Visit Scotland, New York, City of Magic, Japan. Amazon Rainforest, London up there on the top left. All the details are so, so cool. It's gonna blow, are you ready? <laughs> Gringotts is only 30 minutes still, that is pretty good. This is a signature sign that you're on holiday. Honestly, when I'm on my own, I just really enjoy walking around the park and enjoying the ambiance and just making the best use of my annual pass. I've just decided to take a little bit of shelter because typical Florida, the rain is 
pouring now. Look at Bruce. He's enjoying the weather. I'm going for it. I've wrapped my stuff up in a plastic bag. A really nice cast member gave one to me so I could cover my battery pack and everything else. But I am now heading to the front of the park in this weather. I'm trying my best here. I really am. Okay, everyone. I think it's time to admit defeat. We have had an amazing day. The Florida rain is coming down very heavily now and I'm going to head home and get warmed up. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, even though I haven't been doing lots of attractions. I still love having days in Florida like this. And I hope you have a magical day. See you all soon. Bye.